Well, as summer brings more people out to pools, lakes, and beaches, there is an alarming trend across the country. Drowning deaths are on the rise after years of decline. And according to a new report, disparities still persist among people of color. NBC Connecticut's Jane Caffrey breaks down the numbers here in Connecticut and shows us who is being impacted by this heartbreaking reality. An early June camping trip to Lake Bantam was meant to celebrate Stacy Perret's birthday. But when her fiance, Kyrie, took a swim with her 16-year-old, everything came grinding to a halt. My son, Nassario, he, he said something was like pulling him under. We learned it was the current. Before Nassario could even say Kyrie's name, Kyrie jumped back in for him. After pushing the teen to safety, Kyrie Dowd never came back up. He was under a long time. It's the worst day of my life. It took rescue crews another half hour to pull him from the bottom of the lake. The 27-year-old, originally from Waterbury, died in the hospital six hours later. I know Kyrie wouldn't do nothing different. And if he couldn't get my son, our son, I would lost both of them. In the past month, NBC Connecticut reported on four deadly accidental drownings, including Dowd's. There were another four near misses. The incidents come as a new CDC report highlights an alarming trend. After two decades of declines, drowning deaths are suddenly spiking. That's about five hundred more drowning deaths each year. This just really underscores the need for implementing proven drowning prevention strategies. Study author Dr. Tessa Clemens says when it comes to drowning deaths, racial disparities we've seen in the past persist. But the group at highest risk, kids ages one to four. The heartbreaking reality reflected in Connecticut bodies of water with 70% of child drownings happening amongst kids of color either Hispanic or black. It was quite disproportional based on our population in Connecticut. Data from the Connecticut Office of the Child Advocate shows between 2014 and 2023, there were 41 child drowning deaths. 14 were black children, 13 Hispanic, 12 white, and two Asian. What is a solution to addressing the racial and ethnic disparities that we're seeing? It's access. Access to services, access to supports. But access got disrupted by COVID-19. The CDC now tying in the pandemic to the uptick in drownings because public pools closed, so there were limited supervised swim areas. Lifeguard training stopped, leading to shortages, and swimming lessons halted so kids weren't learning to swim. One, two, three, banana! Kids like Avery. In the pandemic, classes weren't available, and her swim experience was scattered. Now, swim lessons at the YMCA are the five-year-old's favorite Saturday activity. It gives me more confidence as a mom. Kids need to know what to do when they're in water. And that's the YMCA's mission. This month, the downtown Hartford location opened up its pool. We offered 100 free swim lessons to residents of the city of Hartford for children of color who had never learned how to take swim lessons before, and it filled up within... 72 hours. Because of the demand, the Y is now offering 200 more free lessons in July and August, not just for kids, but also parents. I think if you come from the middle class, upper middle class, then you get a chance to go to summer camps and beach vacations and things of that nature where you would learn how to swim. Often children from lower socioeconomic backgrounds just don't have those opportunities. Opportunities Dowd's family wants to ensure are widely available, now launching a new water safety scholarship. One step to try to keep another family from enduring the unthinkable. What does losing someone in a drowning do to a family? It destroys them. How Kyrie went, he went out as a hero, but it's, my life is destroyed. His family's life is destroyed. For NBC Connecticut News, I'm Jane Caffrey. And we have many more details on where you can find low-cost swimming lesson programs and drowning prevention tips, you can find those on our website at NBCConnecticut.com or our free app.